Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video, the series where I cover the latest streetwear releases, I cover the latest streetwear news, and of course in the series where well, we just discuss anything to do with streetwear or fashion. Now in today's video I'm going to be covering all my thoughts and opinions on the lookbook for Palace's Ultimo 2022 collection. Yes, guys, it's that time. <laughs> now that I've covered my top five favorite pieces of Palace's winter 2022 season, as the season has come to a close, it's time to cover the lookbook for their newest season, their latest season, the Ultimo 2022 season. And it is also the final season we are going to be getting this year. So get ready for that as well. What we'll be covering in today's video is the release details for week one. Uh, we won't be covering the items releasing in week one in this video. We'll be doing a drop list video further on down the road. Uh, we'll cover the lookbook for the season and I'll sprinkle my thoughts and opinions on the pieces that we look at and the lookbook as a whole. I will be doing that by covering a Hype Beast article that is posted about this. Let's head on over now to that Hype Beast article and we'll start covering the release details for week one. All right, so here we are at the Hype Beast article that we're going to be using to cover week one's release details and the lookbook today, guys. Uh, it'll be linked down in that description section below if you want to check it out yourselves. But we'll quickly scroll on down to those release details. So this article refers it to it as the holiday 2022 season. But if you go to palaceskateboards.com right now, it'll literally say Palace Ultimo 2022 lookbook. So yeah i don't know why they do that here anyway so the first drop of the season will set to arrive november 25th which is crazy because that means this friday we have supreme dropping week 13 we have palace dropping this new season and then we have kith dropping their second installment of their winter 2022 season we've got so much dropping this friday I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be strapped for cash after this. You're going to have to pick which one you're going with. Are you going with Kith? Are you going with Supreme? Are you going with Palace? Um, I'll try and get it all covered before Friday, guys. We'll cover hopefully Supreme's drop list tomorrow. Uh, if not, Kith tomorrow. I'll see what I can do. We're going to try and cover at least one of them on Thursday. Uh, but yeah, lots to talk about releasing on Friday. And there's probably other releases as well that we could talk about releasing that day. Anyway, it'll be releasing in store and online in the U UK 11 a.m. GMT time. I prefer using 11 a.m. British Standard Time as I've found it's more accurate. Uh, we'll have It'll have an online release in the EU at 12 p.m. Central European time, an online release in the US 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and in store in New York and LA and their respective 11 a.m. time zones. It will come to Japan on November 26, which checks out. Japan always gets it on the Saturday. They will get it 11 a.m. Japanese Standard Time in store and online. And last but not least, China. They get it via their WeChat store, 11 a.m. Chinese Standard Time, which I think the store name is Palace underscore skateboards, I think. A little unsure of that. I've never seen the WeChat store personally, but that's what I know. As you can see, it's releasing kind of just everywhere, basically. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you guys have any further questions about when and where week one is dropping, drop them in the comment section below. And as I mentioned before, we'll be covering everything releasing in week one further down the line and stay tuned for that drop list video. But while we wait for that, let's move on up. We've got to cover this lookbook. We've got to see, you know, what we're getting this season, what kind of pieces. Let's dive into it, guys. Let's check out this Ultimo 2022 season. Right, so kicking it off, if I can read that correctly, the first piece is showcased to us is a Polartec, I guess, fleece suit, sweatsuit. <laughs> I don't know what the techno technical term for it is, but yeah, we got a Polytech zip up fleece, tonal branding on the arm. I think it's really nice. If Palace has not thrown a huge logo on the back of this piece, that's a very solid fleece piece for this season. Got some matching pants to go along with it. A little bit of a tonal hit down there. I like that they kept a tonal, makes it a lot nicer having it instead of it contrasting. It's a solid piece. It'd be interesting to see what other colors this comes in. Hopefully nothing too exotic. Hopefully just some like simpler colors, but the, like the, I guess, baby blue 
is quite nice. Oh, or the light blue. I, yeah, there's a whole different amount of words for it, but the blue. <laughs> Moving forward, we've got a very utilitarian jacket here. Pocket here, pocket here, pocket there. Reminds me very much of like the pockets a chore jacket normally has, but without the silhouette. We've got some camo pants down the bottom there. It looks like it has zipper detailing and button detailing, so double closure. Yeah, you can either zip it shut or you can button it shut, which... I mean, if you button it shut, it, it's 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 a little bit wider. If you zip it shut, it's a little bit smaller. But I'm sure nobody's considering that when they're actually buying this piece. But it's cool that it's got a double closure to it. It uh, looks like we've got a crew neck underneath there with just a nice little, you know, chest Alice logo there. Yeah, nothing. No, no bad comments about that. Looks like a nice piece. Hopefully not too crazy on the branding on the back of this jacket. But yeah, a solid looking like cotton work jacket with chore jacket pockets on it. Moving forward, oh my god, <laughs> look at this thing, damn, technically double closure again I suppose, we've got uh, a flap over the top of it with uh, buttons that it hooks onto and a zip closure there, we've got puffer, uh, like, it's a like trench coat and rack silhouette but done with puffer jacket looking materials, we've got this crazy triferg pocket on the arm here that's just like bulging out, <laughs> this piece looks Hefty. This is like huge. Um, yeah, I think this piece will definitely compliment you if you're a little bit like, I guess, stockier, wider. If you're a thin lad and you wear something like huge and massive like this, I think it's going to look a little bit too wild on you. I don't know. I'd have to see it though. But look at all these pockets, all this detailing here. It's pretty crazy. Uh, I like the little palace branding down the um, on the flap here. It's a nice way of handling it. It's just a lot going on with this jacket. It's just huge. Got a little love palace hat up the top here but yeah that jacket's wild moving forward we have a spiderweb palace triferg t it's okay it's okay I'm, I'm, I'm not blown away by it it looks like we have a soft pink fleece pants potentially the matching fleece pants to the jacket we saw in the first picture there we've got a pal s jacket here um, featuring what looks like eagles Flying with the uh, with the pal ace over here. We've got some dragon graphics appearing down the sides of the arm here. That's kind of a fun time. It looks like a nice jacket. Um, I would love to see it in more detail. We'll have to check it out when it drops. But yeah, this looks like an alright jacket here. We've got a flannel underneath. Button closure there. Pretty stock standard. VHS. Now, uh, <laughs> uh, we thought it would stand for something else. But instead it says very heavy shit. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know about this, uh, this long sleeve here, to be honest, but, um, and that's also not what VHS, you know, rings, uh, in my mind when I hear that, but sure, sure. Uh, we've got Palasonic down the side of the arm there, and Palace down there. Again, not really feeling that one too much. Looks like we got the white version, or I guess the green, or maybe grey, I don't know, version of the, uh, Politex, uh, fleece pants there. Just looking at them there, potentially. Ooh. Very nice. This is probably my favorite piece so far. We've got a, a landscape fleece with the snow, by the looks of it, trickling down to spell out palace. And these little stars all over it as well. I like this. This, this is probably my favorite jacket I've seen so far. Very, very nice. I'm keen to see if it comes in other colors as well. But the black is very nice there. We've got a Pal Palasonic hoodie. It's alright. It's alright. Uh, don't mind the logos, but eh. We've got a little uh, cap up here with ear flaps. Oh, a neck warmer? I assume a neck warmer, anyway. Uh, we've got a fleece zip-up hoodie. Um, it looks like... I mean, it's... You could either call it a hoodie or a jacket, to be honest, or a hooded jacket. It looks quite beefy, so a jacket would be an acceptable um, thing to call it. Got button closures on the hood there, zipped pockets. It's a nice color though, and nice and like if this comes in a black, that could be a really nice pickup. Again, as long as there's not some huge fat logo on the back of it. If it's just like this, that's a nice little piece there for sure. We got a knit featuring palace. Some rats, a, a cat, I guess. 
This is a very weird knit here. We've got the Palace P New Era beanie. That's actually a really solid the little beanie there. Be interesting to see what other colors that comes in. Some purple sweatpants. Kind of interesting. We got the Palace Londoninium um, quilted crew neck. I'd like to see it in other, other colors. The like rust orange here is, it's all right, but not my first color choice. But cool to see a quilted design like this on a crew neck like that. And then we've got a fleece hat up here. Cap with ear flaps there. Ooh, that's just a solid clean little piece, isn't it? Nice little logo on the chest, nothing too crazy. Yeah, that's a solid quarter zip or three quarter zip. No, not three quarter zip, a third zip. It's not a half zip, that's for sure. It doesn't go down to halfway. Yeah, probably a quarter zip is probably the best way to call it. I like the red collar. The black is nice. The branding on the front, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Little hit there, it's nice. We've got a waffle beanie uh, with that, you know, um, was it Snickers? I think it was Snickers looking logo there. Um, I like it. It's got a purple color to it. Um, I'd, I'd like to see the other colors, but it's a, so I like, you know, textured beanies. That's always nice. Um, yeah, solid. Some nice pieces in that one there. Oh, okay. That's nice. That's nice. I'm not hugely switched off by the, uh, the palace branding here. I like this like mossy texture to this like puffer jacket. This, they're going crazy with the fleece pieces for this Ultimo 2022 season and I'm fully here for it. I like this piece. I'd love to see it in other colors, but this green, this hits. It's an interesting way that they've done the branding by removing a panel there, but I'm not fully opposed to it. It'd be interesting to see if it like wraps around or something. Awesome piece though. Awesome, awesome piece. I like this. This this looks really cool. We got Palace working together to connect people with the graphic here. That's all right. I like the uh, very oversized fit over here. With the sleeves coming down to the, yeah, the uh, elbows there. Oh, we got a Gothic Palace font mohair sweater. This could be really sick. Again, as long as it doesn't have a huge logo on the back, I like this Gothic Palace font on the front of it. This could be a really dope piece. I like this. I'd like to see if it comes in any other colors, but very keen on this black one here. Oh, okay. Kind of reminds me of um, Emilio Pucci, more specifically the Supreme collaboration that came out recently, mainly because the color palette and the shapes. I don't know if it is a collaboration with Pucci, but that's what I instantly think of when I see something like this. I like the pinks, the purples, the blues all coming together here. It's basically a patchwork piece. I think it's really cool. This is really well done. The pants are awesome. The jacket's awesome. Jacket takes preference for me over the pants, but the full ensemble looks really cool as well. Um, yeah, awesome, awesome outfit here. Awesome little fleece pieces here. We've got that uh, that flannel making an appearance again. It potentially looks quilted because it looks quite thick. It doesn't look like a thin one. I don't know, we'll have to see. Obviously it comes in a red and a yellow, so you can dress up as Anthony Fantano if you want with some palace pieces, but yeah, solid, solid for sure. Oh, that's nice. I think this is a really nice, this is a really nice crew neck here. I'm a fan of it, white, navy. That's, yeah, I like it. I like it. I, no complaints, awesome crew neck here. Oh. Again though, as I've been saying this whole video though, as long as it doesn't have a huge fat back logo. If that stripe continues all the way around it, I'm sold, I'm here for it. If anything is on the back and is huge and just in your face, I'm not sold on it anymore. But hopefully it stays like this. It could be a really cool piece there. Um, nice little beanie there. We got this full like paintbrush looking camo done to this jacket and pants there. I like it. I like it how it's done in like a paintbrush kind of style. It adds a little bit of flavor to it. it. Makes it a little bit more interesting. I think that's a cool piece. I wish that that was... Oh, if this design of that like airbrush camo was done on a fleece jacket, that would be really cool. That would be... Yeah. Damn. Hey, look, if I ever get into designing clothes, I would do that. Fleece with like colored brush strokes all over print. I can see it. Alice is getting me into the designing vision. <laughs> no, nice though. Nice piece though. Nice little piece there. 
And last but not least, a, oh, we get a blue version of the fleece jacket we saw before. I'm keen. I wanna, I'm, I'm gonna go check out the range after this, guys. This, I'm this fleece jacket. <sighs> but it's Black Friday this Friday, and I've got some like pieces I'm keen on. Oh no, no, no. Well, that's awesome. That's awesome. But uh, yeah, awesome little beanie as well. Little ears on it. Um, yeah, crazy piece here. But that is the Ultimo uh, lookbook, guys. 20 out of 20. I had fun with this one. I enjoyed this lookbook. It was shorter than normal because I swear they're normally around like 30 something images for a season. But there were some heavy hitters here that I like, especially this fleece jacket. Um, this crew neck's really nice. Um, this whole setup here is really, really nice like the gothic uh mohair and you know palace doesn't actually do a lot of mohair but yeah this mohair uh gothic crew neck um this puffer jacket is crazy i like the colors on it uh, i like the texture to it it's that's a really cool i've like i want to see the other colors that one comes in if it does come in any at all Full little quarter zip like there was a lot here i could just i could go back through the slides but like there were some heavy hitting awesome pieces in this lookbook here uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this Ultimo lookbook though. Was there anything that really speaks to you? Anything that doesn't? Let me know down in that comment section below. Well, there we go, guys. That was the Ultimo 2022 uh, lookbook. I'm keen, man. I'm keen. Look, we've only got a couple weeks left. It is... We've got like a week and a bit left of November. We've got like four weeks of December. We've got a, essentially a five-week season. I mean... It seems like they, they're going hard. They're going hard for their last season of the year. They're going to release some crazy stuff each week. I'm keen. I'm keen. I don't think there's going to be any collabs this uh, Ultimo season, though. Because, you, know, you know, it is getting a bit close. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll see one. But I don't think this season needs it. Because there were some heavy hitters in that uh, lookbook there. The fleeces were hitting for me. Um, yeah, a lot of the crewnecks were. Uh, I'm a fan of that mohair gothic one. Some cool pieces, though. But... Get ready for that first week. It's dropping this Friday. I'll try and do the drop list video as soon as possible. Um, yeah, we'll get around it, guys. But very keen to start covering it. I'd love to hear if you guys were keen on any of the pieces. Uh, if you're looking to get anything from week one, let me know down in that comment section below. And of course, if you want me to keep covering this upcoming Ultimo 2022 season, what you've got to do is give me the three indicators I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and the best indicator of them all, subscribe to the channel. Uh, as mentioned in previous uploads, we're trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3,500 before the end of the month. Hopefully, with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that before the end November. That's everything I got to say about this Ultimo 2022 lookbook, guys. I wish you the best of luck when it comes to week one this Friday. Stay tuned for the drop list video. And uh, until the next Alice video, until the next drop list video, until the next streetwear talk video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.